and you'll see food prices going up for no reason. No one will explain it. You'll see food going up. It's expensive. It'll keep getting higher and higher and higher. Inflation will continue to increase. Taxes will continue to increase. Eventually, you won't be able to live. And I bet you, this is only the beginning, I bet you that something's going to happen in the winter. There's going to be a winter storm that no one has ever seen in before. There's going to be things happening that people are saying, oh, I've never seen this before. I've never seen that before. There's going to be so much of that. It'll get colder. It'll get hotter. It'll get wetter. It'll get drier. All of it. All over the world except one place. There will be one place that will not be affected like the rest of the world will be, and that is Israel. Israel. That's his place. That's his place. When we think about Israel, we think about, you know, the Israel we see in the news. That's not the way that he sees Israel. That's why God's ways are not our ways. We just don't understand. We can try to. Some of us get kind of close. We think we're close. Some of us brag about how close we are. But I think most of us, we're not even, you know, we're not, we're not even close. We're just, you know, we're trying our best. But Israel does belong to him. And that's why you will not see tsunamis and volcanoes and earthquakes and ice storms and all these and, des and desert storms and, and sand storms hitting Israel. You will not see it. You'll see it hitting in Iraq, in Syria. You'll see it all over Israel. And a lot of bad things are going to happen to the countries surrounding Israel. A lot of bad things. But you won't actually see it happening in Israel, at least not to the same intensity. You'll see some things happening in Israel, like a few low-level earthquakes, as well as bushfires. They're small and, uh, you know, acreage damage into the thousands uh, of acres, but not into the millions like you see uh, uh, in Canada, for example, or in the United States. It's in the millions, millions of acres, over two million uh, in the United States alone, I think. The United States is being punished, punished with, with rain in the east and fire in the west. The Middle East is being punished with drought. And fires as well. Oil fires and all the other fires. People don't have water. They're drinking water that isn't even, doesn't even look like water. It looks like some kind of <gasps> runoff of something. That's what they have to cook with. They make tea with that. They're running out of gas and how are you going to heat the water for, to making tea if you don't have enough gas? And this is affecting all the countries that have a problem with Israel.